Hi everybody, my name is Matt Hedke, I'm with uh, Bart Mel Company. I've uh, been with Bart Mel for 13 years. Um, started out my career at Bart Mel as a resteel detailer. Um, from there, spent some time in our fab shop uh, learning that process and uh, you know, kind of learning the tips and tricks of how bar gets fabricated. Um, and then came back in the office, continued uh, to detail uh, shop drawings and shortly after that was promoted to resteel fabrication manager. Bart Mel Company does uh, a handful of projects from you know construction management um, to general contracting. Um, we often are um, you know a subcontractor doing you know just interior work or just um, equipment setting or just concrete. Um, but we do everything from you know industrial to um, higher ed to you know K twelve schools, um, sports. Um, stadiums, so we do a little bit of everything. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, in terms of self-perform and technology, I think they absolutely go hand in hand. Um, I, I think understanding the end result and, and how we get to that end result um, is huge for us. I, I think utilizing, you know, Tecla and, and other technologies not only to make, you know, whether it's, you know, rebar detailing or you know, concrete modeling, whatever it is, um, that specific task more efficient. Um, I think it's also huge in terms of, you know, kind of understanding whole process and understanding how each discipline um, affects the other one and, and how we as a whole continue to push forward. We started using Tecla structures in May of 2012, um, so it's been a little bit over a year and a half. We initially did our initial um, trial of Tecla back in 2008 and for a handful of reasons uh, decided to go a different avenue. Um, and then in May of 2012 um, we had some success on some other projects um, out on the East Coast and, and kind of saw what they were doing as it relates to cast in place concrete and, and rebar. So we decided to take another look at it. Um, did our second trial in, in May of 12 and uh, saw huge potential there and, and decided to go ahead and get some licenses and haven't looked back since. Bart Mello primarily uses Tecla structures here specifically and our self-perform um, our self-perform team does is we use um, so resteel detailing or resteel modeling uh, cast in place concrete. Um, we're using uh, the model to get model based layout. Um, we're, we're looking into form work and how we, you know, get form work in, in, in the model. Um, and then on a more, you know, big picture company wide um, perspective, they use it as a construction management tool. Um, we've had a couple projects where we mandate that all subcontractors use it for. Um, their specific trades, so we're you know um, using it for steel and, and concrete and you know studs and curb design and things like that. I'd say the key benefits of using Tecla structures for us was um, you know efficiencies. Um, I think that it's made our guys better detailers, just in terms of seeing that picture 3D and understanding how all that um, bar and, and concrete interact with, you know, things like embeds and anchor bolts, um, you know, stuff that, you know, we, we've had, let's face it, we've had issues with in the past. I mean, I don't think in a 2D world you're going to catch every single, you know, mistake like that. Um, it, it's made us quicker. Um, we're able to produce things faster. I think it gives us a better product with our shop drawings. Um, you know, we can put as little or as, you know, as much detail on a set of shop drawings that we, um, you know, using Tecla. I think 3D views, we've, we've done a lot of drawings where we get kind of congested areas where we'll, we'll provide, you know, 3D uh, views right on the shop drawings just and, and color code things so the guys can kind of understand and see a visual picture on how it goes together. Um, and then, of course, the BIM site aspect, you know, pushing that... Um, 
pushing that model out to the field and, and having them utilize and, and see the benefits of, of what we're doing in here is, is, is huge. We kind of touched on this, you know, earlier, but, um, you know, we're starting to dive into um, form work for Tecla. Um, I think that's, you know, first and foremost, the first area we want to expand in is how do, how do we utilize, again, you know, we have this concrete model with concrete and rebar in it. How do we build on it? Um, so I think that's one initially that we will, you know, there's a lot of interest right away to, for us to get started on. Um, you know, those continue to use it for those logistics. Uh, that construction management is huge. Um, you know, quantity tracking and, and production tracking, I think, would be great if we could get that, um, you know, in the model and, and be able to utilize those quantities from the model to track our units and kind of drive it back to our, our estimate would be, would be huge. My name is Matt Hedke, and here at Bart Mello, we use Tecla Structures.